our scones. So would you all take your scone and we're going to use our thumb and two fingers to pick it up. We're not going to grab it because again, we're going to show respect for the food and who made it. We delicately pick up our scone and we're going to put it on our plate. Can everybody do that for me? Everybody done that? Great. Now right now this is a big scone and it's looking awfully good and I would love to just put the whole thing in my mouth but this is a tea party so we're going to make it small enough to eat daintily and be able to talk to one another. So I want you to take your knives, I'm left handed so I take it in my left hand, you put your knives, take your knives and because this is a somewhat slim scone we're just going to cut it into three. So three pieces, one, three equal pieces. So you have, should have something that looks a little bit like that. Everybody done that? Okay. And you may put your knives off to the side on the plate so as not to make a mess of your hostess's tablecloth. All right. The next thing we're going to do, and now we're going to take a sip. So first we drink our tea and then we eat the food. So I want you to pick up your teacups. Bring them a little bit closer to you, all right? And then we're going to sip gently. No big slurps, a little sip, because it could be hot, so that's why we sip. Mmm, that tastes awfully good. And then I can put the tea cup back. What is your most favorite dessert? Can you share a memory of that, please? Yeah. Can. And it actually is my favorite tea time dessert. It's called a Victoria sponge. It was created for Queen Victoria during her reign, who's one of the great queens of England. And it's absolutely delicious, yummy yellow sponge cake, light as a feather. It's spread with thick cream, not like our whipped cream here. It's yellow. Thick. You can actually stick your, your teaspoon up in it and it will stand up straight. It's that thick. And then you spread it with strawberry jam. And if you really want to be decadent, then you'll put strawberries on top of that and another layer of sponge mm. and dust it with icing. I'm getting hungry already. And I think that's <laughs> one of my favorite desserts. Can you make one of those for me? I think I'd better. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight? <laughs> yes, <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> Mrs. McQuilkin's going to now ask me something. Would you like to share a memory, Mr. McCorkin, involving a swing? A swing, like in a swing set? Absolutely, like a swing oh, set. Oh my gosh, I'd have to go way back for that, don't I? Do you? Yeah, about 120 years ago. Oh, I'm is that how old little, you are? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not. I don't and, know if you had that one. Anyway, I was in Virginia Beach and I was nine years old. And my mother and father took me to a school in a housing area near where I lived. And they had swings on 20-foot ropes wow. with these wonderful scooped-out leather seats, not unlike the ones at St. Michael's. And all I can remember was getting in this swing and getting higher and higher and higher until when I got near the very tippy top, it felt like I was in the air floating. Oh, it was wonderful. like an airplane. I think that's what made me want to go into the Navy and become a flyer. Which is what I did, yeah. So that was a, a, a wonderful opening experience and a great childhood memory. I'm glad you asked me. It took a little bit to get back into that memory recess, but I think I pulled it out. But that's what tea's all about, is sharing these memories and the things about Mr. McCulloch and I just learned for the very first time. I'm sure there's things that you can share with each other that are new to your friends. You may want to come a little closer, Mr. Corbin, because I don't think well, they can quite see. Can't quite see myself on the screen. Yeah. Move that, move that teapot out of the way. Oh, well, I hope you all enjoyed this gathering, as brief as it might be. And I'll share with you that next year, as I promised, I'm going to do everything in my power, with Mrs. Hoffmeister's permission, to. Uh, Gather you all together as big fifth graders. You'll still be interested in joining all of us for a tea party at Gravity Hills Plantation, which is where we normally have our tea party. Mm -hmm.